Hey what's up guys and welcome back to another League of Legends video and today's video we're gonna have a talk about the blue essence and a few other things since season 8 has already come in, it's already so amazing we've already gone through a bunch of stuff firstly of course uh the runes are super amazing these things are just yeah I've made the fast gin runes uh, honestly like this this stuff is so good but either way this has become a very good update a very big update and i will do a bunch of videos and before i actually talk about the blue essence itself on uh, the rune side I'm, I'm probably gonna be doing individual uh speculations and analyzing on each of the type of runes you can go through so in the future i'll be making videos on about all of these type of uh, keystones and runes and stuff and these ones of course are preset but i'm gonna be going over them on how you can use them how th well i'm gonna pretty much explain how they're used i'm gonna demonstrate them i'm gonna put them in a the game and i'm gonna guide each one of these and hopefully then i will show you the different type of combinations you can do and everything but i will keep them in separate videos so you guys can have a broken down version of it and you can go in depth with a bunch of this stuff but this is gonna be in future right now i'm still testing with these runes i have not completely known anything about it i probably know only about 50 percent of what they do and so far they're really fun so yeah let's get back into the talk about the blue essence now to start off of course this is preseason this is preseason eight and when you normally win games now you do not earn blue essence anymore the only way you were getting your blue essence from the present time now is by having your uh your blue essence on pause which is going to be in your missions when you complete a game you will get it and you can get to cash it out and what is that from that is from the last season and season six in season six if you purchase runes 100 percent was refunded and any bot in the last season which is season seven um all of that stuff was 60 percent refunded which was the runes and the amount of loot you had so if you had um if we went we go into loot now and the old blue essence was there whatever you had as blue essence that was multiplied by 6.5 and put into your balance so all is that all of that is added together and that is how you got your current blue essence that you probably have now and of course when you use it you're not gonna have anymore like look at me i had 22,000 or something i had like 25,000 actually i got a name change that's one reason why that it's gone down massively and then i bought a bunch of stuff from the shop because if you go into the shop now everything is all blue essence earthwick everything there's so many things that are for blue essence right now you can get chromas for blue essence as well individual chromas you can get these cool little icons i got two i got twisted fate and lux and you can also get mystery there's a lot of things you can buy now within these shops but now earning blue essence is a bit of a kind of a mystery it's kind of weird as well i know this is only the preseason, so we kind of need to give right a break i'm not saying they're poor souls that need some time i'm just saying that they've been working working on this they've been working on this season for quite a while and it's pretty amazing on what they've done and they've changed the way how you earn blue essence so you don't unlock everything all in a short amount of time they want you to like play the game and they want you to experience more things rather than having to focus on the shop they want you to focus on a bunch of things rather than the shop as well but of course the only way you can get blue essence is gameplay and gameplay what does that do that levels you up when you level up now well if you didn't know you level up beyond 30 and probably everyone knows that by now because that was told in the preseason 8 information and remember this is still preseason this is not the full season release as well so you can still play rank to get your mmr up but i don't think you're gonna rank up or anything but it's gonna be helpful for when you're going to your future promos and stuff but i think that's how it works i'm not too sure about that but we're sticking on the blue essence side so the more you level up right now i have leveled up to 31 which i leveled up yesterday i played about a good 25 games like legit i as soon as the preseason was released i could not stop playing i played from nine in the morning till nine at night and it was pretty fun i was playing with a bunch of friends as well and it was pretty f damn fun and then i i leveled up as well so leveling up is kind of a slow process at the moment but it's gonna it's gonna fix like it's not gonna be that long so every time you level up you'll get stuff like uh um, champion capsules and stuff and what can you do with champion capsules well, as soon as you disenchant them because currency has now changed like the currency is kind of different um the champion shards actually disenchant for a lot but there's a catch to that whenever you try upgrading um these um mastery seven shards it's gonna require th 3900 what does it look like for okay and 3250 for mastery six tokens so this is quite a lot i know that's that's actually quite a lot for master six and seven of course it used to be like 600 or whatever but since the currency changed and we've gained a lot of blue essence a lot of things are different so and it's a lot easier to get blue essence when you're disenchant enchanting champions like and the way you're gonna do that is by getting chests and level ups and and the only way of doing that is getting chests and level ups and stuff like that but look at um so far we have a mission over here that says the first one of the day when a match made and you get 575 xp so they're gonna be making missions that of course build up on your xp as well so 
so you can level up uh pretty pretty damn fast but right now this is this is just preseason, and i don't think you're gonna have to focus too much on the blue essence side i think they'll they'll be working on that so far but if you have a lot of blue essence spend it wisely for now until they've actually done something with the blue essence because i've read a lot about this i read a lot about people complaining about the blue essence issue that nobody could earn blue essence anymore after winning a game league of legends has completely changed in season eight if you didn't realize this game has completely changed am i ch i'm not saying like 100% changed. It's because of the runes and masteries, this thing has gone to a whole new level of gameplay. And this is what makes the game exciting. I could not stop playing this. I have not been more excited about League of Legends until this season hit. Season 7 was pretty good. I mean, I know a lot of assassins got reworked and everything, and even though they were kind of cancerous at times, but it didn't really matter because there was nothing too massive change in playstyle. Besides, there were there were plants added, those uh, jungle plants, like the vision plant, the explosion plant, the uh, honey fruit plant, stuff like that. That was that was in implemented in season seven if you guys didn't realize you probably do know for any newcomers over there and i started off at season six but still the blue essence thing i'd say we just gotta wait and see what riot has to say and no i'm not constantly making videos about telling you to wait and everything i'm just telling you how you can spend your blue essence wisely and how you can collect it more easily as well it's kind of a weird process right now so the only way so far from this present day i'm recording this video the best way to get blue essence right now is by leveling up, getting hero capsules, disenchanting them, and using them. And hopefully you get chests, like if you if you don't have any chests for champions that you haven't got an S, uh, S grade on, or if your teammates haven't got an S grade on while you were playing that champion, then go ahead and play those champions. If you have chests, uh... If you have chest um, charges like this one over here, so next day uh, or next chest available in whatever day, so you can't get chests from champions you don't have grades on or have teammates grades on unless you have one of these. You have to have at least one and then you can get free chests and stuff. And it's a pretty cool way of actually, uh, you know, earning chests. You guys probably already know that, but this is that's just a disclaimer. That's just like to let you guys know that there's many ways of doing this. And there's gonna be more events coming up, like the project event's gonna be coming up, I think, on the 22nd, if you guys didn't see my video, on the skin review, you don't have to, but I'm just saying, on the 22nd, on that video, uh, I checked that there was gonna be the release of the project skins, and I don't know if that's gonna completely bring the project event back, but I think it actually will because of the new game mode that I was playing the other day on livestream with Skin Spotlight. These icons are actually pretty cool, I, I actually really love these, but seriously. Just spend your blue essence wisely for now. Do whatever you want. I've already used mine. I really, I'm not really bothered, but the only way you can earn is that way. But just wait, just wait a little bit. Maybe Riot will fix it up. They will probably give uh, more ways of actually having to get blue essence. Because remember, this is only the pre-release. This is the season hasn't even started yet, and we're already probably complaining. I mean, I was complaining at the very beginning, but I thought, nah, it doesn't really matter. Like, we could just wait till the full season is just started, and hopefully, when the new season starts, I just get my my gold border and a, victor a victorious grave skin. So while I was researching as well, I also found this post, uh, which was posted online on RiftHerald.com, and most people actually didn't find an issue with this blue essence thing. A lot of people did because I guess after get after games, they expect IP but they don't get it but a lot of people said that they're not actually seeing this as an issue that they're playing a bunch of games and they're actually leveling up so if you look down here at the bullet points it says an average game will give you approximately 200 XP which is actually pretty good and then the win of the day bonus will give you around 575 which is quite actually a lot and the win of the day bonus is actually the reason why people are leveling up really quick it makes it a lot easier and actually gets you more rewards and stuff and also on this page I was reading that the blue essence kind of thing was still a work in progress this level up system and the blue essence system is still a working progress so for now i'm gonna say let's wait and let's give them time and i will probably let you guys know more stuff about that when it actually is talked about more from riot games themselves because remember this is preseason. there's gonna be a lot of broken things and things that don't work and stuff so don't worry about it so i'd say get used to it and that's pretty much it so anyways guys thanks for watching if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like comment and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this go ahead and put it down in the comment section below and if you guys do want a video on the runes masteries keystones whatever you want to call them then go ahead and put that in the comment section below as well because i'll be working on those and i'll break them down into individuals for you guys and i'll be working on them very soon so anyways guys thanks for watching and i'm gonna see you later peace